Welcome everyone to Sketch and Tell Live, episode three. I'm Erica Schmitz at My Body Model, and I am so excited today to be speaking with Martha McIntosh at Gary Child. And if you follow Martha, and I said this earlier today, then you know all about her vibrant style, her vibrant and radiant personality, and you also know the joyful and confident approach that she has to designing clothing for her body. And that's something that I love so much about Martha and I'm always so inspired by her. And I love that sketching on her body model is part of that creative process. Um, and Martha, as you may know, has been a tester for my body model for almost three years since the very beginning. Um, but she's also done so much for the, the online sewing community. She's an editor at Curvy Sewing Collective. She was an editor at The Socialist. She also does a ton of pattern testing for indie pattern designers. And so with that introduction, I'm gonna go ahead and get Martha on the call. <music> Welcome. Uh, it's so good to see you. And I see behind you your amazing fabric collection. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I tell you, one thing about quarantine is that I got this all in order. So that's a good thing. That's a good it's thing. Beautiful and so super inspiring. I um, So I'm so excited to hear all about your creative process, um, you know, from from your initial ideas and how you pair mm -hmm. fabric to patterns and you do so much pattern testing too. Yeah, um, but most recently you had a guest blog post um, on the My Body Model blog featuring some of your swimsuits and a couple uh, years favorite. ago. <laughs> so it's your favorite yeah. now, but a, a couple of years ago and your swimsuits are amazing. Mm -hmm. um, you'd never sewn a swimsuit before and you were Actually, you, you said it brought a, a freeze to your entire being. That was the fear that you had around it. Um, but you yeah. dived right in. And I was wondering if you could talk a little bit to start just about that process. Oh, my goodness. It, it, it just seems like so long ago. But I'm like, no, not really. Only like a, two years ago. Yeah. Um, you know, when we think about swimsuits, I'm like, slippery fabric. It's supposed to last in water. I could barely do regular woven cloth. Like, how am I supposed to do this? And um, I think that, uh, that you challenged all the testers and was like, oh, we're going to do a swimsuit edition. I was like, mm, you yeah, know, I, I guess I'll, I won't be doing that. And he was like, no, no, no. So I went ahead and I did it and I sketched some stuff. And that was the beginning. That was... <laughs> It's been a wrap ever since, a wrap ever since. So it is one of my favorite things. It, you you start sketching it, and then you're like, well, you know, these bathing suits really do look good. So maybe yeah. I should sew one up. And then now I have so many rest, swimsuits and not enough beaches. <laughs> the rest is history. So was that the first thing you'd ever, like the first designing that you'd done on your body model, Crookie? Yes, I do think that that was the one of the first ones. I th I think it was the first one that I took from sketching it out and then going, okay, I'm going to make this now. I'm going to take, um, I, I have the visual, I have the design. And so now I've picked the pattern to match the design. And then now I'm going to make it. And one, two, three, and I'm like, oh, and it's done. And I could wear it. <laughs> So, yes, yeah. <laughs> and, and look amazing. And I feel like sometimes, like, if you can visualize it, if you can see it, mm -hmm. then you can make it happen. Um, yes. But without yes. that picture, it's hard to take that, that, that leap. Yes, and, 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 and what it is is the real picture. I think that's what, for me, was the sell. Like, you know, we always think about, well, you know, when we go online to go shopping, 
You know, mm -hmm. we want to see the model, you know, who looks like me wearing it. So it, it, the same thing goes with sewing and actually mm -hmm. sketching it out. I want a sketch that looks like me. And mm -hmm. then when it's done, it will be looking like me at the end, too. So and I love good... I'm having a little bit of feedback. Um, so with the drawing, so you've done so I'm starting just with your swimsuit sketches and you can show us some of those. But there's the Originally, we just had a front view, but I think with our second rollout and testing, mm -hmm. we added the back view. So then yes. you could play with all those design details in the back. Yes. Um, yes, yes. So I'm wondering if you could show some of those, actually, if you do have them. I do have them. And, and it was funny because when I was going over and looking at the stuff, I was like, wow, we've come a long way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I, I I don't do you remember this one? Oh yeah, this with the back. The first one. Yes. That I was able to play with the back. And oh my goodness, I just ran with it because we started off with here and I said, you know what? We could do something better. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember that I was started oh, yeah. building like on it and stuff. And so this was like really, really, really fun. You know, question. once you still added that back view, it was great. So when you were building on the design, did you redraw it or did you make copies and then um, keep, keep so, drawing on the copies? I kept, uh, so I made copies. So that yeah, was one of the fun. That's a good hack. That's a good trick. Yeah. You know, because and then um, if making copies allowed me to either play with fabric colors, um, and then, like this design, we did the bathing suit first, and then I said, "Well, can we, can I do like a a cover off for it, a cover up and stuff?" And so we built on that, and I'm like, "Oh wait, no one told me I could make a copy of like a finished set sketch." And so, yeah. oh yeah, that is that, awesome. That was good. <laughs> that's I, that's good. I wasn't sure if you'd done it that way, but it's such a great way mm -hmm. to do it when you draw something, you get it just right but you want to play yeah. with some other ideas. So if you have access to a copy machine, you can just kind of run them off and then just, play with yes. color blocking. Mm -hmm. Or um, I love that overlay of the, the swim cover up with a little bit of transparency mm -hmm. to see the suit underneath yes. is super nice. The other mm -hmm. thing I think you've done also is when you've drawn your hair on one of your body models and if you get it like just the way you like it, then you can make copies also. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's like a, the so stages. There. Yes. <laughs> I tell you, I, I, I was going, I'm like, oh, look, and, and the thought process, just sitting there going, oh, wow, look, you know, you draw the bathing suit, now we can finish. Accessories. Nice. What's the jewelry? What's the hair? Oh, yeah. You know, what's the shoes? So I love it's good. It. I love it. And in the blog post um, that we featured, all of your, your swimsuit designs and the finished modeled uh, swimsuit photos, even though the original sketches, sometimes they weren't the exact same suit, but I love mm -hmm. how you can see your, your designer eye figuring out those mm -hmm. details that you like, mm -hmm. and you can kind of see the progression of the design into the final suit. Mm -hmm. So there was one that was like a ruffle, a ruffle top bikini, mm -hmm. and in the mm -hmm. original sketch, I think it was red, but then the final was a, a snake print yes right? yeah 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 mm -hmm. so yes. you start with an idea and then you just kind of run with it and it gets mm -hmm. you kind of going and then the final result it doesn't have to be exactly like the sketch the important thing mm -hmm. is that the sketch got your creative process going yes. with it and yeah. get you started and then the good thing is being able to take the drawing and then come into your fabric stash yes. and just going okay so where do you fit in here Right. You know, that's good. So even keeping the drawing, just line drawings as an outline, mm -hmm. because then you can kind of hold it up and and see see how, if they click. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Because, and it's helpful, especially when you really want to be like, okay, I'm not too sure. And, and then it, it allows you to play. I, I, I find it like my creative side. Yes. You know, I get to be a kid, you know, here I am coloring, I'm drawing, you know, and sometimes my kids get into it because yeah. then they want to 
fill in and think is a coloring book. So it's, it's just fun. It's really fun. And then to be able to bring the sketch to my fabric place, um, the fabric place, to my son. <laughs> it feels that way. <laughs> you know, it really, it just, it helps get, get that sojo going. You know, there's no way that I get bored or tired and stuff. I have options. So it's always it. good. So I, so you have so many beautiful fabrics behind you. Mm -hmm. um, so how do you choose? Um, and so, and so I'm just curious, like maybe you can show us like, like, do you know what's next in your sewing queue and, or what you're trying to think through the design of, and can you show us a little bit of, uh, if you have sketches? or show us I the fabric? Do. OK, so I recently um, took a break <laughs> and went oh. down to one of our local shops um, here in Maryland. And um, you know we're just reopening now and stuff. And I really wanted to support her. Uh, yes. Is an Ankara fabric store here in mm. Maryland. So I said, you know, let me just take a little drive and just go see to what see. she may have. I picked up some really uh -oh. nice goodies yesterday and so oh, I fell in love. wow that color oh wow doesn't this just that is so perfect it's me perfect so yeah that is perfect <laughs> so i said you know what what can i make with this so i'm actually thinking that i want to play around with maybe um coordinating pieces Okay. So I'm going to look at the rest of my stash here mm -hmm. <laughs> and find me like a solid. And so I was actually sketching some stuff. Mm -hmm. So you see, this is where you really do get started. So I was like, you know, I want a pair of shorts. Oh, nice. You know, my shorts and a, and a nice tank. So I think I might do mm -hmm. either a woven tank uh, or a knit tank and stuff. So it allows me to get it down and just go, okay, I want some short shorts. This will look right. real cute. And then I can play with the designs on the legs mm -hmm. and stuff. And now I have an idea and then I'll soon be playing with the colors. You know, do I want mm -hmm. a, a hot pink top and stuff? So this is that process. Um, and and so then when, I got to... When you're first drawing, do you have a pattern in mind or you think this is the type of garment I want and then you find figure out the pattern? I first start with the garment and mm -hmm. then I actually, I, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'll jot down like companies or patterns oh, okay. that I already have mm -hmm. and go, okay, I think this, um, there's patterns here in these sections, you know, blank slate, Elia Mac, yeah. moon and broad, like the camis. Yeah. So I was kind of writing down all, cause we know we have a pattern stash too, which yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. So, so I go through the list and it just write everything down. That's what erasers are made for. You yeah. know, I, I oh, draw and just spam yourself with all the type of ideas that yeah. are coming through. And then from there going, okay, hmm, now I can see the beginning of the process. I have I the sketch. I, I'm thinking of the pattern. I definitely have the fabric. I like We're going to make it happen. <laughs> so you start kind of like with the big ideas and then you keep, you don't, you don't limit yourself. It sounds like in the beginning, you don't limit yourself. That's something that I do a lot. It's like I start with this really limited thing and then I get stuck. So you, you start mm -hmm. with your ideas and you can start flowing with the ideas and then you kind of narrow down what you're going to do with it. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And, yeah. And then, uh, well, and I'm also a person that I'm like, you know, I, let's experiment, like, let's try something new. Like, I'll sketch something and think, okay, yeah, you know, this should be a woven and stuff and go, I brought all this lace. Ooh. We're gonna use this lace. Oh, nice. <laughs> you know, so yeah. it, that's the fun part. Like, yeah. it allows me to just try anything. Because that's as far right. as I, that's what we sew. Let's try anything. Right. Let's see what happens. Like you're always like experimenting and trying new things and, mm -hmm. and doing it, bringing so much fun and joy into it, um, yeah. which I love. But even through that process, you end up with pieces that are wardrobe, amazing wardrobe wearable pieces, even through that oh, process. Yeah. 
I don't know about oh, the I'm lace the one. Oh, I'm the muslin. Oh, I, I, I wear everything. <laughs> the, the, be, the beginning pieces <laughs> with no buttons, no zippers, yeah, <laughs> all yeah. the way down to the final product. There's nothing wasted here. Nothing. Nice. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So for that Ankara fabric, um, are you thinking about making um, a set in the same fabric and then mixing and matching with other things too? Or you're going to do either the shorts or the top? So I that's, that's the good thing. So the good thing about that is you also offer the multi. Oh, yeah. So it, I'm going to actually draw up some more samples. So this was another one that I, I was like, do I want to do like wide leg pants mm -hmm. with a uh, more jacket style or mm -hmm. a duster dress? So oh. it allows me to play with it. So I'll yeah. take the other and just draw out different ideas um, in like the, what I consider the wardrobe set of the sketch plan. I love it. Um, then I would just work my way through. So maybe it might be a coordinating set or it might be the same fabric for the top and bottom. It might be six yards. I got six yards of fabric here. Perfect. You can make all <laughs> sorts of things. It's awesome. Oh, it's beautiful. Like whatever you choose and you know it's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is great. I love that. Um, so you've been doing some sketching and, and you've been buying more fabric to add to your collection. <laughs> um, I'm curious. So you talked a little bit about, um, you know, what you like about using my body model and, mm -hmm. and drawing on your body model. Did you sketch before you were a tester for my body model? Did you used to do design your makes? So I did. And I did. Yeah. And one of the things, you know, we, I kept finding like different images and stuff is very rare or not that's very rare. I didn't know where to look to mm -hmm. find, wait, before I even begin, how do you pronounce croquet, croquis? Why don't we, why don't we start there? <laughs> so I know where I'm I say croquis. I say croquis. Um, it's from a French word, and so I'm sure we're pronouncing it wrong, but I just hear people we're say no croquis. croquis. There's no right or wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so when I started looking for croquis, I didn't find any that looked like me. So I started, I actually think on Pinterest, they, I may have found like one. And so I uh, think I had traced it out. And so I found my initial sketchbook. Imagine that. <gasps> And so the initial oh, sketchbook, yeah. this is how, you know, what I would, was doing. I was like, you know, yeah. okay, this is what I think I look like, you know, <laughs> let me see how that works. So all I right. found like a whole notebook, you know, and got all the, everything that I imagined was myself mm -hmm. and stuff. And of course, the problem was, or for me, it, I didn't feel like it was still right. Right. You know, right. is it really right? Like, is this the size of my legs? That's what I think. But, you know, right. so the body model, and I think that after I had did this, all of a sudden, you know, here you are with the Kickstarter, and I'm like, is she reading my mind? Like, did she see yeah. me draw this today? You know, oh, and I it didn't know. be soon after. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, within, like, the same time, you just showed up and I was right. like because oh, I remember when I asked you to if you wanted to be a tester you said yes like right away yeah um, <laughs> I was like yes great perfect but I didn't I didn't know that you were um, mm -hmm. looking for cookies at the time and I had the same experience trying to find cookies that looked like me and doing those searches mm -hmm. like you know curvy cookies and um, curvy fashion templates and things like that and just mm -hmm. none of them none of them looked like me and I was trying mm -hmm. To design for my body and I wanted mm -hmm. I'm a visual planner and I wanted to be able to see it what I love too about following you and your makes and your whole creative process feels like it's always a celebration like you're celebrating you're celebrating your body the clothes are for your body you're not trying mm -hmm. to design for anybody else, just yourself. Mm -hmm. And when you have your photos, you know, a lot of us, when we take our Instagram photos, we kind of, you know, look down or look away 
or oh, no. you know no. and you know you <laughs> when you take your photo you are happy you're like I made this I know I look amazing <laughs> Um, and I just, I always love your photos so much. I'm wondering if you have any tips for the rest of us around like how to feel confident. So you have, you know, all these, those amazing swimsuit photos, mm -hmm. um, how to feel, um, yeah. So how to feel confident, um, just in any, just in general, if you have any tips and also if you have any tips specific to swimsuits. Because that's a big deal <laughs> for a lot of us. I think, you, you know what, I, I always tell, uh, you know, I going through a lot of, like, following a lot of the um, our friends and so is who will be like, well, I sold something and I don't know. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Do it all out. Put the makeup on, put the yeah. lipstick on, style the item before it gets discounted. I'm yeah. not going to say that everything will be perfect, but I think that there's such a difference in how you make, how you present yourself or present the garment mm -hmm. that makes the bigger difference. You know, I, 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 there are times I'm like, uh, uh, I'll send a notice to my soul sisters and be like, mm -mm, this, this is not happening. This, this right here is not working out. And then I'll be like, hold on. Put a little lipstick on, yeah. put, put my eyebrows on. Yeah, yeah. And I'm out the door on a sunny day, and I'm like, I oh, love yeah. this dress. Nice. So I think that that's one of the things. Like, just enjoy the journey. Like, mm -hmm. you made it, just try it on. But, you know, don't try it on with your nighty on over underneath and stuff like that. <laughs> right. Give it your best. <laughs> Give it or your in the bathroom mirror, or yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go no, give it your best. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and, and, and do you... oh, go ahead. And also get um, yeah, I get everybody involved in my house. Everybody thinks they're the photographer here, so I'm like, oh, okay, yes, I'll model for you. So I get everybody involved. My husband's a photographer. My daughter's a photographer. I have people on the floor. Oh, I, I, I we a whole show. We are a whole show it. when we outside. I love it. And I love the <laughs> idea of taking the picture. Well, first of all, that taking the photograph, I love that. Is It's like a, a step in the documenting. It's a mm -hmm. part of the sewing process. Um, never, ever have I wanted to, like, take pictures of myself until mm -hmm. I started sewing. Until I started sewing. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I was, like, taking pictures and sending them to my sisters. Yeah. And, Mm -hmm. um, like look what I made look um, what I'm yeah. right and that's like the first time I started Instagram uh, an Instagram account was because my sisters were tired of getting pictures from me <laughs> <laughs> I needed to share them somewhere um, I know. but there's something about that process of the photograph that mm -hmm. captures that moment in time I love it, especially if it's right when it's fresh off the machine or but because it's just been ironed. And so mm -hmm. like it's fresh. It's never going to be so wrinkle free ever. <laughs> um, but just taking that picture like you just it's, it's like it's owning it. And this is mm -hmm. I made this and it's on my body and I made it for my body. And all of yeah. your pictures are they communicate that so well. Um, but I, I didn't realize that you had everyone involved because sometimes, oh. like, I take pictures, but I wait till everyone's, like, not around, and I'll go set up my timer, and I'll be like, you know. <laughs> no, 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 you got to get them all involved. I've, I've gone, I think one of my best pictures has got to be outside of a party, and I had the guest, oh, the guest were instructing me and my husband in terms of, gonna do they were like no 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 put your hair this way but and i'm sitting there going okay this is what i'm talking about this is awesome so i'm telling you i, I we make it a whole party the my whole neighbors it. get a show every time i i, I make something poor things <laughs> <laughs> they get a whole show the swimsuit the swimsuit has been photographed on the deck on my neighbor's picnic table it's gonna be it's gonna it. be a neighborhood one. <laughs> That's so funny. I, I, I remember, um, so when we were putting together the blog post for um, uh, the, the swimsuit photos, there's one photo where if you look really closely, you can kind of see your, your, a neighbor 
kind of in the yeah. side of the photo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, so it, I told my husband, I'm like, oh, the neighbors are outside. I'm not going to take the picture. He was like, what? Are you crazy? He was like, come on, because we got to do this picture right now. I'm telling you. And then you you hear them cheering behind. I wish I need to start taking videos oh, uh, yeah. to include with these pictures because it is hilarious sometimes. That would be hilarious. great. I would love to see that. <laughs> um, I also love the new um, I'm not 2D videos that people are mm -hmm. posting. So they don't just post the still photos. They mm -hmm. do kind of the full turn. Um, mm -hmm. and you can see the the way the garment moves um, and sitting down photos too. People have started doing, um, yeah. but I always I always love seeing your pictures, and so many are um, uh, pattern testing that you do, um, which is such a a great contribution to to the to the sewing community. I feel like you give you give back so much to the sewing community, and I really appreciate that about you. <laughs> Um, I'm looking at my questions to see, oh, I know what I wanted to ask you. Um, so a lot of people say, you know, I really like the idea of my body model, but I can't draw. Do you have any I tips? Do you have any <laughs> tips um, for getting started? There's an eraser. That's the biggest tip. There is, I, you know, I love the fact that I, I feel like I can't draw either. Like, I wish I can draw. But, you know, once you start putting pencil to paper, you know, and just light strokes, I always start off with my light strokes. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, when I first started, because I just couldn't figure out how to put the garment, like, you know, if you look at the back of... Um, I have one here. If you look at the back of the patterns, mm, like you yeah. see how they show you the line drawings, I used to see how I can just put that on the body model first, mm -hmm. and then you manipulate it around your body. Mm -hmm. You know, someone already drew it for you. How about that one? Right. Someone already drew it for you. Right. So it's just transferring that to your body model. You know, so you don't need to know how to do that. All you need to know how to do is copy. Right. You know, so right. that's that's a good tip. Like that's the line drawing tip. already exists. You know, now you just have to draw what you see on the back of the pattern onto your body model. Right, right. And then I hear And then the more you do it. Mm -hmm. The more you do it, you know, then you could switch it up. Right, right. And then the other nice thing is so on the line drawing or on the model photo on the cover of the pattern, mm -hmm. you don't know exactly where that pattern is going to land on your body. Mm -hmm. um, so it's similar to the process of, of making a muslin and doing the fitting. But when you're drawing on your body model, what I recommend is to draw it how you want it to look. So yeah. if so if experimenting with the lengths or the sleeve lengths or things like that, mm -hmm. you want to see yeah. how you imagine it and then figure mm -hmm. out, oh, we're going to need to hem the skirt yeah. or something like that. Because yeah. you're the designer. So there's the line drawings and the pattern, mm -hmm. but you're the designer of what you want to make. So you get what to you make mean. those decisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and, and the good thing is you can switch it up how you want to, you know, if let's say in the line drawing the bodice is more empire waist, mm -hmm. I'm not wearing empire waist. We're gonna bring it down a little. Yeah. Right, right, right. Bring it down. Yeah, and it actually even helps you in your sewing. So that's the good mm -hmm. thing. So when you're sketching it and you realizing, like you know what, I think I right. want this oh line or this seam higher or lower. When you do it in your sketch, you can actually, I write my notes everywhere. So I'm like, okay, this, let me go to my waist. And I transfer that into when I start cutting the, the pattern or make my adjustments on the pattern. You know, I, I can decide that even in the sketch. Like, mm -hmm. hmm, what operations do I want to do? Like, what changes do I want to make and stuff? Mm -hmm. And just move that along, move those ideas along, and then just make it happen. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That is so cool. And something that I always try to say is that um, if you sew, you're a fashion designer. And yes. 
you are your own fashion designer and you're also the model. So you get to be both. And, both, exactly. and so you're in control <laughs> and you get to make those decisions. Um, mm -hmm. But something that I love so much is um, just how much fun you bring into it. Um, because me personally, I always get, I get kind of stuck on wanting things to come out just right. Um, and sometimes I forget to have fun in the process. Oh, yes. Um, yes, yes. That's the good thing. I, I started sewing because for the release, you know, right. you know, you, I'm like, this is supposed to be fun and stuff. And man, I just run with it. I'm like, huh, this look cute. You know, even I surprise myself <laughs> from time to yeah. time. Always look amazing. <laughs> and so do you know what you're going to be working on next in terms of what's in your sewing queue? What is in my sewing queue? Hmm. Whew, the list is long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. You know, I I feel like I I should be making one more swimsuit. <laughs> oh, how one many? Swimsuit. How many have you made? That's what I also want to know. I have made For the real. count, <laughs> the, the real count. I've made eight swimsuits, so I did count. I've made eight swimsuits. Like I I feel That's like so awesome. And how many are, are two piece and how many are one piece, you know? I feel like most of them I are bikini. So that means that there's seven there's seven that are two pieces and one that's one piece. Oh no no no. There's two that's one there's two okay. one piece. Because I was like, no, did I do two? So there was the oh, Evie right. and the little five. Yeah. Laura. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So nice with the sleeve. <laughs> two one the... pieces and five two pieces. Mm. Nice. Mm. And then you've also started doing like lingerie and things after yes. doing swimsuits that kind of got you into doing more of that too. Yes, yes. I, I didn't know, <laughs> or more so, I, I, even the whole, do I really want to like sew panties? Like why? Right, right. Like the store makes them so well, but no, they don't. <laughs> right. <laughs> Not you until you make, make them all panty like. Better. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it's been fun. It's been really like, the lingerie section for curvy mm -hmm. women, like the patterns. Mm -hmm. There's some amazing, amazing, some amazing stuff out there. Mm -hmm. And I like I tried different things and new stuff, and that's what that whole lace collection right there is for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so nice. I wish, yeah. I wish. I, sometimes I wish I could make everything at once. Um, and, and no, yeah. no, not enough time. But we'll make yeah. it though. We'll oh yeah, make it. <laughs> we'll get to it. So I have one more, one more question. Well, I have two more questions. But is there any type of garment that you've never made before? Because swimsuits was a big one, but now you've yes, made eight. So I know. What have I not made? Hmm. I have not made, and it's mm -hmm. on my list. Mm -hmm. Like a real, like lace, like a lace dress. Those, like oh, with the lace, overlay, with overlay. Yeah. It needs to have a lining. It needs to have like different layers. Oh my gosh! I need to get there. So much That's, work. That, that is on my oh, I cannot wait list. I, it, oh. But I'm also scared. Yeah. <laughs> I think we need another challenge. Oh, that is scary. I think we need another challenge. Yeah, the lace overlay <laughs> challenge. Oh my gosh. Like I overlay. would love to see some drawings of that. If when you're ready. When you're I know. Ready, okay. I would love to see. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's on my it's list. been so much fun to talk with you. Um, I'm sad to be um, coming to an end. Um, because I, I love know. speaking with you. Is there anything else you want to make sure to say or share before we end the interview? Mm, let's see. Well, you know what? And I and I know that I say it to you. I've, I've sent you messages, and I want to make sure that I say it out loud. You know, <laughs> I've I've seen the journey. Like you know, every chapter that you've actually embarked on, like it's been a joy being mm -hmm. part of that team. You know. I think I said, I think when the um, hand on the hip came out, I think I, I, 
I have to send a whole message to you, like, girl. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You, you're doing it. I am there with you. I see your vision. And I love that you, you've taken the task. Because, you know, oh my gosh. someone said this is important. And mm -hmm. we love it. We encourage you. And, I, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be the voice for others. Thank you. Thank you Aww. for doing what you do. You know, because it is important. I think it's important for people of all shapes, all desires. And then I think even in the last one, I don't know, which we may still be testing, like the gender neutral. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Oh, you know, <laughs> so I, I encourage, I stay encouraged because you always are like, you know what? Someone said that this might be something to consider and you just go with it. And I love that. I love so. it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And having our team of testers, which I think in the last, by the time we got to the last round, we had more than 30, more than mm -hmm. 30 testers. Um, and so things that you think are, would be easy, you know, you've got the arms down, just put one on the side, end up being <laughs> so complicated. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And just even things like, remember we were trying to decide what the butt would look like? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm like, that's well, a, that's a I don't know that, <laughs> oh, that, that, I'm like, how many of these versions are we doing? <laughs> it, it was, yes. We had all the side by side and voting and all that. Like we haven't really the behind shared the, the behind <laughs> the scenes of a lot of that, but oh man, the things that you think would be so uh, simple. Um, but mm -hmm. I appreciate that so much. Thank yes. you. It's been so great. Thank and you. such an honor to have you. Um, as part of the testing process over almost three years now, which is just no. amazing to think about. <laughs> um, and I would love to check back in, maybe show some future sketches yes, and yes. the sewing dare about the sketch overlay idea. Yes. Uh, yes. Would be really cool. <laughs> Very cool. Um, so, so to close, and thank you so much, um, where can people find you online? So I can be found via Instagram and Facebook under Gotti Chow. Mm -hmm. You know what, these children. <laughs> <laughs> this is when they tell you, wrap it up. <laughs> so I can be found under Gotti Chow on both mm -hmm. Instagram and Facebook. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. I'll be in touch soon. Thank you. Good night. Okay. Bye. Good night. Bye.